Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. You're with Boo, you're one and only. You already know what it is. We're with another video today and it's gonna be a bang because you know, you guys are getting my reactions. So, um, because we all know this is trending and I just also wanna say thank you to almost 600 subscribers. Your girl's been growing, um, which is insane, which I'm super excited about. I also wanna do an updated Q&A for all my new subscribers, my new people, so they can get to know who I am and who Boo is. So if you have any questions, make sure you comment below, add me on all my social medias so you can be interactive with me. I'm always asking questions on my story and, you know, you know the gist. But anyways, without further ado, we're getting into a little reaction video. If you guys have um, read the title, you already know what I'm reacting to. So I'm going to pull it up on my phone right now. Um, I'm working a double today at work, so, you know, your girl never stopped working. So we get a video in. <laughs> And this natural lighting is it. So we about to pull up this video. Um, we are doing a reaction to Carmen's live about episode five of the boot camp. Um, what drew my attention was um, the title. So um, it says Carmen Pritchett uh, addressing accusations on Instagram live. Uh, this is off a of girl's YouTube that she had screen recorded this. Her name is La Divas Den. Um, so thank you girl. I'm stealing your screen recording for my reaction video. So I'll make sure to put it below so you guys can watch it with me. So we just gonna turn the volume all the way up and we gotta get into this. Because now you make yourself look like, okay, now you just keep dragging this story just for us to keep like seeing sorry for you. Cute little intro, girl. Hit me up if you want one. I did mine. Talking about favoritism with the booty. We know what we deal with through the whole show. We talking about from the beginning to the end, and to the end, I'm talking about the reunion. And if you didn't know, I was a semifinalist. I mean, top 15. I was supposed to be there, but your girl didn't make it. So you guys gotta watch my uh, recent video about talking about the booty. I don't wanna hype the whole situation up, but I don't like when people act fake because it's like at the reunion, everything was said. Like we discussed each episode, literally. And I feel like a lot of people need to pay attention to that because y'all need to see how people is talking about lives and see how their attitude is going to be different within each episode. How they react to each episode. Everybody. And to, after you drop episode six tomorrow, everybody's just going to change again. <laughs> yeah, every episode's different. Don't get me wrong. As I'm watching, and after episode five, I look at myself and I say, Wow, where did this episode come from? Episode 5 was full of drama. If you've watched episode 5, go watch it. You'll understand the life. Based on what the public opinion is. Yeah, based on what the public opinion is. Like, 
Hannah speaking back, girl. Exactly. Let's see what Y'all don't remember, y'all are watching one hour. We filmed four hours in a day. If y'all think that y'all can get the full story from what y'all see. Yep, it's, I mean, it's only four eight 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 eight
all these girls are just super genuine, friendly, very supportive of one another. That's gonna make you grow as a YouTuber content creator. I'm not gonna keep talking about episode five for the rest of the show. Because that's not what I said in my video. What I said in my video is what I meant. Like, I don't care if you're going to be a Reaction videos and stuff, and I'm like, you didn't even say none of these. 
at the reunion. And the reunion was the same thing. It has a reunion festival right now. Okay, we're going to be a different story. So I guess that we'll just call that. We're just gonna watch. I don't want to watch the last two minutes because you guys already get the gist and what they're talking about. If you haven't watched um, episode five, I would go watch that so you guys can kind of understand what they're talking about in the live because clearly there's some drama between Tardy and the other girls. Um, Personally, in my opinion, um, I kind of felt when I was at the semifinalist uh, situation, I felt like there was maybe some favoritism towards certain people. Um, like they had already had their eye on certain people, but that's not wrong because I get that's we caught their eyes. There's 600 girls that were looked at, and only 50 got to go. So in one way or another, every girl caught that someone's eye at one point to get drafted into the semifinalist. Um, but I'd say like they're all very genuine people, so I don't think there was any really favoritism. Um, I mean, I would say maybe there is a little bit in some ways, but at the end of the day, um, it's part of the show. Um, people had to be eliminated every round and everybody's going to feel some type of way and we'll just have to watch episode five to understand what's going on. Um, and then let me know what you guys think about this reaction video. I just had to do a little reaction on this. Um, and I think I'm going to react to, I'll be posting all my reactions to all the videos as well. Uh, because I kind of want to sit down and watch them with y'all because... At the end of the day, I feel some type of way because I was supposed to be there, so my heart hurts, and I wish I could have been there because things might have been different. You never know. Maybe all you know, these girls would be coming after my neck and talking ish about me. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Who's your favorite girl? I mean, I love all of them equally, and they're all doing very well. That was what the TV show was for, or this little these episodes were for, was to promote them on YouTube. And shout out to Carmen and NEB for changing some people some girls lives because a lot of these girls their lives are already changing and it's a matter if they're going to use this opportunity to push them and keep going or you know if they're just going to let it pass them um unfortunately i didn't make it to the actual boot camp but make sure you blow up carmen's uh comments and tell them that you want to see number 137 at season two because your girl's trying to get there to season two and i'm going to redeem myself i'm gonna show y'all what boo is really about and we're gonna take the w boat I'll take that W. Um, but until next video, without further ado, peace. No big deal. I'm just living my best life. <laughs>